These preschool assessments are designed to give you useful information, but not to be too overwhelming like most preschool assessments are. I'm going to give you a glimpse of what one looks like after two assessment windows, fall and winter. Everything circled in green is from the fall assessment and everything circled in blue is from the winter assessment. I like to put the dates above so I know the exact date that I assessed my students. In the winter, I don't reassess the things that they already knew unless I knew that it was a child that um, it was a little sketchy and maybe they, they were just guessing. When I'm doing the handwriting assessment, I'll often cover up the spots that they don't, you don't want them to use so that they only use the correct spot. When I circle no, that they don't know how to write their name, I'll put the letters that they wrote with a few dashes to show which ones they're missing. And even if they don't use the correct letter formation, I still count that as correct. I'll just make little notes at the end to keep working on letter formation. The social emotional part is my favorite because yes, that's what preschool is all about. Now, after I do all of the individual assessments, I place all of the numbers into one class checklist. I use this for the entire year so I can see the growth from one season to the next and I can see this difference between all of the students at once. You can find this assessment and checklist on preschoolvibes.com.